Let's turn back the clock. I always love to turn back the clock. I love the history of this sport. And when I saw Jose Aldo do what he did on Saturday in Fortaleza to Renato Moicano, I was reminded of the Jose Aldo of old. Again, this was his first back-to-back -back stoppage since 2009 when he was the WEC featherweight champion, when he was a Jose Aldo that we all loved and, and, and admired and thought was one of the very best fighters in the world. He is turning back the clock in his last two fights, and I was reminded of when he was given the UFC featherweight title. You remember this, UFC 123, Auburn Hills, Michigan. They made a ceremony for him at the arena. They were going to give him the belt. Well, before that ceremony, he went out with his manager, Ed Soros, at the time to buy his first suit. They put out this clip back then. It was amazing. Just look how happy he was. <laughs> That's a young man who did not come from a lot, who was about to get his first UFC belt, who had the world ahead of him, just happy, proud, giddy over the fact that he was buying his first suit before that ceremony where Dana White gave him the belt. I was proud to be there. Very cool moment and very cool to see Jose Aldo back in the winner's circle and looking like that old Jose Aldo from 10 years ago. He's not done yet. And I am so happy that he is not going to be defined by that Conor McGregor loss. When he lost to Conor McGregor at UFC 194, I was worried that Jose Aldo would always be remembered first and foremost for that knockout loss. 13 seconds, hard to come back from that. But he has done enough since, he has come back, he has ignored all the noise, all the haters, and now I feel like when the final story is written on the great Jose Aldo's career, that won't be the top line anymore. And there was a chance for a moment there that it was going to be the top line because it was so dramatic, because it was so quick after the 10 year unbeaten run, no more. Look what he's doing. First back-to-back -back stoppage run since 2009 when he was WEC champion. He's one of the very best regardless of weight class. And on Saturday, he proved that once again. Great to see him smile. Great to see him celebrate with his people jumping out of the cage. Curious to see what Jose Aldo does next.